Good morning, everybody. It's Elise. It's May 18th, day 23 of my weight loss journey. First thing I want to talk about is I got an email yesterday from a viewer who is upset about the video saying that um, I've only been doing it three weeks and they had lost 100 pounds over and over and over again and how you can't just jump into it. You need to have a process and have an understanding and get your arms wrapped around it before you start. I beg to differ. You need to start today. I don't give a shit if you have a plan, okay? The plan is you're gonna lose weight, okay? Because you're fat. I'm not saying something we all don't know, okay? So this is what you need to do. When I say jump into it, what I mean is you need to just start, okay? Nobody has a plan. I just said one day, I'm gonna start. I have to start, I have to jump, okay? I have to jump. So that's what I mean. Now, we were talking about my funk yesterday. It's been three weeks. BFD, big fucking deal, three weeks, right? And I'm already like freaking out. Then yesterday, I made crab cakes, okay? I had my Jenny Craig dinner, which was delicious. It was ziti with like a sauce, a red sauce, cheese, I had an artichoke, it was very good. But I made crab cakes for my husband. And I tried it, and I didn't really like it, but I thought I should like it, so then I tried it again, and I ate half. One of them had like 140 calories, so it was 70 calories, and you know what, I didn't even like it. So then I started thinking, why am I not, I not okay, la, la, why am I not just eating the foods that I love, right? But in like fancy restaurant quantity, like that big, right? You see in a fancy restaurant, it's $105 for an entree, it's this big, right? You still love it. You go there, you're like, oh, this is the best $450 meal I've ever had. My husband and I went to a, um, a chef's kitchen. It was like 12 courses. One of the courses, I'm not even kidding you, was a spoon full. This is a, a pencil, but it was a spoonful of cold, um, maybe asparagus soup. It was like, ugh. Okay, but that was good. It was 12 of these courses. A spoon, a little shot glass of something else. It was craziness, okay? By the end, I was like, just give me a piece of damn Italian bread. Let's call it a day. I want something familiar. But the point is this. If you eat only the food you love, right, and make it an experience, then you won't feel so pissed off like I was feeling yesterday. I was like, this sucks. I just want to eat. I didn't even know what I wanted to eat, so I ate this damn crab cake that I didn't even love, and I forced myself to eat it because I thought I should be eating something else. You understanding what I'm saying? I'll explain it another day because I'm like a little bit crazy about it. But I figured out that I'm just eating stuff to eat. I'm not even hungry sometimes when I'm eating. And when I'm hungry, I'm not eating and I'm not even eating the stuff I love. So you know what I looked say yesterday? A piece of like a pita baked thing. It's this brown, small, with some baked salmon on it that we get from Costco. It's freaking delicious, okay? I had two of them, and you know what I did? I chewed it. Not only did I chew it, but I chewed it and I breathed so I could taste it, right? I was breathing, not holding my breath like I usually do when I eat so I could chew more and swallow more and get bigger, bigger, bigger bites. But I was chewing, breathing, relaxing, and I loved it. And I did want to have like 100 more, but I thought, why? I've already had that taste. So this is like an epiphany for me. The other thing that I was thinking about is how people, um, like my the person who wrote to me yesterday saying, I gained and I've lost 100 pounds over and over again. You know why? We're lazy, we're gluttonous, we're impatient, and we're entitled, right? We're all those things, which equals lazy, L, G, E, whatever, equals fat ass. You know why? Because we don't want to do the work to get fit. That's it. It's not complicated. Bless you. It's not complicated. Okay. It's math. Calories in, calories out. Make your calories count. That's the whole freaking point. Don't waste your damn calories on holy, disgusting, dry bread. Get something you like, that you like to eat. Don't be a schmuck and eat like, you know, 4,000 calories of chocolate all day. You know, don't be an idiot. 1,200 calories, if you want it to be all chocolate, I don't think it's healthy. So you know what? You're, you have a computer, so therefore you have some intelligence, right? So don't be an idiot. 
I'll show you what I'm wearing. Okay? I have a new shirt. It's a long sleeve, short sleeve. Get it? Okay, so I've got on my jeans. This is weird. It looks like I'm, this is like blacked out. My pants are getting bigger, bigger, bigger by the day. These are my pre-pregnancy pants, and you can see, these aren't the ones yesterday. These are different, but they're all the same. Tucked in, and you know what? This is still there, but I really have to pull and reach. Okay, so that makes me happy. My birthday's in 12 days. I'll be 45 effing years old. That's right, 45. My hot tub, I think, is coming in this week. Maybe I'll be in a suit, bathing suit like a bikini. I don't know. If I am, the picture you're going to see is me sucking it in, posing, nothing candid. Right? That's what Valerie Bertinelli did. That's what I could do. All right, so that's what I got. I'm really excited. Portion, portion, portion. Eat food that you love. Eat a small portion of it and enjoy it. Like, feel it. Live it. Peace.